Thank you, Jane. Joining us a little earlier because of the time change. Let's get you outside. 60s around the valley. Not too shabby for your Wednesday. Uh, temperatures up in the mountains. 39 in Flagstaff. 40s in Payson and in Sholo. And how about 40s up in Winter Rock, the Navajo Nation. We got some breezes rolling around town. It will get a bit breezier as our cold front rolls through and the rain uh, as well. That's going to accompany it. Com accompany it. We got some showers on the west side of the state, some over by Wickenburg and to the north, but for the most part, we're dry in the valley. So if you're hopping in the car right now, no big issues. We do have a first alert day, but that's for rain later on this morning and afternoon. We could even see some thunderstorms later on this afternoon. I think the area that will be favored for storms will be in the foothills just to the north of us. So some of these creeks and streams up by New River and Cave Creek, those are going to be running. The washes will be as well. So don't attempt to cross those in a vehicle, especially if there's a sign. It may look good from the top, but you really don't know if the road below has given out. And I've talked to so many police and firefighters over almost a 20 year career and uh, even the most expert drivers get into a lot of trouble when they uh, try to cross those flooded roadways. We have a flood warning that is going to go through Thursday. This is for wet Beaver Creek, so areas here, maybe some campgrounds are going to get saturated. The water is just going to come up a lot higher than normal. It's not a lot of homes here that we're worried about, but just kind of flood prone areas and some of those crossings, those unbridged crossings over in Tonto Creek. Same story. That's been flooded for about a month now, and that's going to continue probably at least through the weekend. Blythe seeing some action. Lake Havasu City trying to get some light rain going as well. The flood watches uh, are for central Arizona, and these are the areas where we could see more of that creek and stream rise. Wet Beaver Creek, Oak Creek, they're already there. They've already climbed quite a bit, uh, but these areas we could also see more of that. So please keep that in mind. Rain arrives later on this morning through the afternoon. We'll kind of be in and out of showers and then we could see some thunderstorms this evening, maybe even into the late evening hours like 10 o'clock. But here we are six o'clock. We see rain over a good portion of the state. This is a pretty warm storm, <clears throat> so we're not looking for a lot of snow. Snow will be me measured in two to a few inches here and there in the Flagstaff area. This is not a blockbuster storm. It is the middle of March, so we don't tend to see those cold, cold storms. Maybe Thursday afternoon, a couple of showers lingering north and east of the valley. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a zoomed in view. This is lunchtime. The yellow indicates pockets of heavier rain, so I would have the umbrella today. You're not going to use it every single minute today, but I think you might get caught in a couple of showers if you don't have it with you. Here's the evening outlook. I mentioned the thunderstorm. See these bright reds? This could include hail, lightning, heavy rain, gusty winds over on the west side, so we'll be watching for this later on tonight. See McLaughlin, Paul Horton, Royal Norman uh, will be watching that. And then maybe into the early morning hours, some thunderstorms. Look at this up by uh, Cave Creek Carefree, pushing into the Tonto Basin. This is where Tonto Creek is. So we're going to throw more water down on that creek. So that's going to mean continued flooding problems. Do not attempt to cross that creek. We uh, had uh, several children lose their lives because of that a few years ago. Thursday, maybe a lingering shower, but for the most part, that's going to be all she wrote, and we'll try to keep that rain to the north for Thursday afternoon. As far as rain amounts, this is a seven day outlook, and the blues, that's about a half inch of rain. You see these pockets of purple, that's an inch of rain. Now, some of that's falling on top of snow, which will melt that snow and then add to the inch of rain. So that's where that flooding concern happens. When we have great snowpack, which we do, then you throw a warm storm on top of it. That's where we can see some issues in and around the Phoenix Metro for the most part, about a quarter inch. The farther north you go, the more rain you'll see, maybe a half inch in some of those uh, foothill communities like Cave Creek and Carefree. First alert, seven day forecast, 69 degrees for today. Today is the first alert day because of that rain and thunderstorm risk. Maybe a lingering shower in the morning, but for the most part, Thursday's dry, 71, 72 St. Patty's Day. Looking good. Slight chances for rain over the weekend. And then another shot as we get going into Tuesday of next week.